I'm making this video in response to an Instagram comment I got from not Nura who said something to the extent of please make a video for this one I feel like my mom when I use this app uh, this is definitely not the feedback that I want to get but it is the feedback that I need to hear uh, if you guys are finding that the art that's getting posted on the Instagram account is uh, out, outside of the realm of what you think Stipple is capable of. Definitely shoot me a message like that and I can definitely make videos specifically towards uh, pieces that I've done or pieces that the other testers have done. If I can't figure out what they've done, uh, I'll just ask them. Um, so well, this is kind of a cloudy, I'm, I wouldn't call it watercolor. Uh, but I, it's kind of some kind of cloudy painting. Maybe it's a watercolor-esque. Uh, I did something kind of similar, although this might be more acrylic-like on this, uh, this Mindhunter one. And something like this, that one kind of came out like crap. Um, and even an image like this one where we kind of go to cloudy on the edges and then get in photographic in the middle. Uh, so I kind of touched upon this in the first painting video, but the interface has changed a bit so we might as well revisit this topic and just do it specifically about these cloudy these cloudy paintings um so i'm gonna i'm gonna launch stipple and we're gonna do this in paint mode so click paint for for the source image for this one, it might be a surprise looking at that image, but I actually started out for the background with this uh, this World War One era map. Um, I'll make my background color black, and then we'll change the other settings once we get going. Uh, so I'm gonna assume that you've watched some of the other videos, uh, but if you but to go over how to reposition an, Im an image because this comes up about the most often the most frequent question is about repositioning images uh, click on this image icon to the left hand corner and then in the middle you'll see this image position options click the square with the arrows on it and now you're in reposition mode I'm gonna enlarge it with a you know a, a basic pinch motion to to enlarge it we can move it around and we can rotate it if we want but uh, so we'll keep it like that and then to to lock in your changes, just click that button again. Click that uh, square with the with the arrows on it. All right. So first off, we want to take the opacity and turn it way down. We want, we want to take the hardness and turn it way down. Uh, that's key to this style. Second, and this is the this is a little tricky. Is we're gonna hit the uh, our our brush dot size options, and then. If you see this plus icon in the in the right hand corner, click it. And when you click it, when it's off, it's not glowing when it's off right now. You'll see the uh, our our brush dot size looks like this. But when we hit plus, it almost looks like it makes the dot size smaller. And this has been a little bit of of uh, caused some confusion. It doesn't make the dot size smaller. What it's doing is changing the scale of the uh, the dot size itself. So now we can make the dot size really big so you want to pull your min and your max dot size to about where you see here and make sure that plus is on and now when we draw and i'm going to turn my background image off once we get going but you'll see that now we just have this uh all right so to turn your to turn your trace image off bottom right hand corner it's a ghost click that icon and you'll see what we're doing now so it's just like we're making this cloudy Uh, this this cloudy recreation of our background image and then as we uh, as we change our dot size as we make it smaller more and more detail gets picked up and I'm gonna go a little bit more into this than I did in that drawing that you saw just so you get a better idea of what's going on uh, I'm gonna keep making this dot size smaller and you'll see that as we go we're gonna we're gonna start to see this map actually start to appear in the in this section that I'm I'm focusing on. Uh, 
and this is in itself uh, is kind of the the whole thing. Now, now one last step you can do as you get in more detail is turn your opacity up as the dot size gets smaller and smaller, and then you basically end up with uh, just recreating the photo. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just smudge, get rid of all that stuff, uh, all that detailed stuff. Just so it's kind of faded in the background, just there, just miss, just there, adding adding a little bit of uh, mystique to our to our finished image. Because next up, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get the uh, our gas mask Calvary guy into this picture. Actually. Uh, That was the cropped one. So I'm going to use this one. Scale this thing up a bit. Now using the same technique that I just used, I'm going to turn the opacity down, uh, make sure my dots are big, and then I'm just going to start drawing with it. And you can see the silhouette kind of start forming of our uh, of our soldier, and, and we're gonna do the ex same exact thing that we just did with the map. Where we just keep keep focusing, or keep making the dot size smaller, so we can control the overall focus of the image itself. And I think that this is a neat technique because uh, now if you're trying to do this in Photoshop, you'd basically be destroying your, like you'd be, and I don't mean destroying as in ruining, but you'd be altering your, your image as you blurred. So you wouldn't be able to add more detail as you went. You would have to, you'd have to accomplish it in a different matter, uh, a different manner. Now, but with with Stipple, since we're just since we're always just referencing our source image, we're never actually like we can always pull more detail in our less detailed spots. So this is starting to look like the image that you saw. Um, I can go into one more kind of advanced thing. And let's do that because I'll turn the opacity up. But in this case, say I, I really am, I only want to draw the horse guy. I don't want to keep drawing over our, our background because it, we're kind of uh, losing, we're, lo we're losing that cloudiness as we, as we increase the focus. So what you can do is uh, press this arrow with the three, the three dots. And what that's, that does is it pushes that that image that we've repositioned into our gallery uh, you can see it up here and now I can toss this into the mask now this isn't gonna work on every photo but this photo has a lot of contrast between the background and the foreground the background being the sky and the foreground being our Calvary so what I can do is just isolate uh, using this mask basically what I did what I'm gonna be doing is uh, as I said, let's uh, increase our opacity and we're going to make our dots real small. And now you'll see as I draw, it's not affecting the white area. It's only affecting our, our inside the, uh, the silhouette of our soldier. Now this is a cool technique to get into it. I, I don't want to get too into it because it was covered in the mask, the mask video. And I don't want to make this video too long. We're already at about nine and a half minutes. Uh, is basically this this threshold bar when mask is on. When mask is off, you can't adjust this bar at all. But when mask is on, we're basically uh, describing where the cutoff point is. So if we say if we pull this all the way to the left, we'll be drawing in the white. You know, like our white showing up. And I'm going to undo that. But if we pull this to the right, now when we draw on the white, nothing happens because that white is getting cut out. But it's not getting cut out over the, the soldier and the horse in the uh, the spear. So it's a way that we can just isolate, draw stuff in. And as I said, 
this isn't going to work all the time. I got lucky. Now you could get smart about it and you could go into Photoshop or Illustrator and you could make a separate silhouette file. You, it would get a little tricky if you were doing any scaling. I'm not going to get into that too much. I'm going to just tell you how to wrap, how I wrap this up. So I'm going to shut off my mask. I'm going to toss my, uh, my map back in that, that is, uh, that map image. And I guess I didn't save the, uh, the scaling, but I'm just going to scale it again. Just eyeball. it. Now I'm going to go back to making these dots big. I'm going to pull my opacity way down again. And now this is just kind of those last little cloudy bits that, that I put on the, the thing. So I'll make the dots even bigger than that. Just like the last little bits of fog, just to obscure it, add a little bit more mystery, add a little more texture to it. Um, this is the gist of it. Uh, you can ask me questions if I went too fast. Uh, it's, it's simple, like everything in stipple. It's simple when you know how to do it. When you don't know how to do it, it's uh, it just feels like you're, uh, you know, just feels like you're your mom trying to use uh, a phone for the first time. Um, all right. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for using Stipple. All right. Goodbye.